<coughs> today we are going to talk about proce uh, process selection in operations management usually uh, when we are going to select a process there are things we should consider those are how much variety in products and services will the system needs to handle and what degrees of equipment flexibility will be needed and what is the expected volume of output so when we consider those uh, there are about four, uh, four to five process types one is job shop the other one is batch process repetitive process continuous process and project so when it's come to the uh, job shop processes Job, job shop process usually operates in relatively small scale. It is used when low volume of high variety of goods and services will be needed. The processing is intermittent. Work shifts from one small job to the next, each with somewhat different processing requirements. High flexibility of equipment and skilled workers are important characteristics of a job shop. A manufacturing example of a job shop is a tool and die shop that is able to produce one of a kind of tools. A service example is veterinarian's office which is able to process variety of animals and variety of injuries and diseases. Batch processing, which is the second one, used when a moderate volume of goods and services is desired. And it can handle moderate variety of products and services. The equipment needs need not be as flexible as in job shop but processing is still intermittent the skill level of workers doesn't need to be as high as in a job shop because there are less variety in, in the job shop being processed examples of batch systems inclu include bakeries which make bread cakes or cookies in badges, movie theaters, which, which show movies to groups of people, and airlines which carry plane loads, badges of people from airport to airport. Other examples of products that lend themselves to badge production are paint, ice cream, soft drinks, beer, magazines and books some more examples include plays con concerts music video music videos radio and television programs and public address announcements the third one is repetitive process when higher volume of more standardized goods or services are needed Repetitive processing is used. The standardized output means only slight flexibility of equipment is needed. Skill workers are generally low. Examples of this type of system include production lines and assembly lines. In fact, this type of process is sometimes referred as assembly. Familiar products made by these systems include automobiles, television sets, pencils and computers. An example of service system is automatic car wash. Other examples of service include cafeteria lines, ticket collectors and sport events and concerts. Let's go to fourth one. Continuous process when, when a when a very high volume of highly standardized output is desired, the continuous system is used. These systems have almost no variety in output 
and hence no need for equipment flexibility. As in assembly systems, workers are generally low skilled. Examples of products made in continuous systems include petroleum products, steel, sugar, flour and salt. Continuous services include air monitoring, supplying electricity to homes and business and the internet. <coughs> These process types found in wide, wide, wide range of manufacturing and service settings. The ideal is to have the process capabilities match product or service requirements. Failure to do so can result in inefficiencies and higher cost than are necessary, perhaps creating competitive advantage. Thank you.